do more, be more, get more. Well, I am so pumped to be with you with that as a theme, more, more, more. Not about taking more, but about being more, about becoming more, about doing more, and of course, if we do more, we get more. If we get more, we must give more. Seth Mulder here, and I'm super pumped to introduce a new series to you. Uh, I had such, such an incredible time doing the 100 words. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure I've got my uh, commenting on. Uh, my 100 word series that, uh, that I wrapped up uh, a month or two ago, uh, that took me about six months. We talked about words, concepts, ideas, philosophies uh, that, that were, frankly, I think life-changing. And I, I appreciate all of the, the wishes. I love the following. It was uh, so gratifying to be with friends and, uh, and ask them, uh, friends uh, in, you know, and family and, uh, and business associates, peers, mentors of mine saying, hey, I love what you're doing with 100 words. Uh, what's your next word? Uh, that was that was phenomenal series, and uh, I thank everybody for tuning in, listening, learning with me, and hopefully, uh, because the intent is uh, to, for you to take value from that. I'm starting a new series today. Um, I'm wearing it. I'm wearing it. CEO creating entrepreneurs online. Welcome to Entrepreneur 101. And thank you guys for joining. Uh, no matter where you're joining, if you're watching me on Facebook, drop a uh, drop a comment in where you're where you're uh, watching from. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, on uh, my YouTube channel, drop a comment where you're from. And uh, and this is meant to be engaging. Okay, this is meant to be uh, to be dialogue. I'm going to share some powerful concepts. Entrepreneur 101. What does that mean? This is not necessarily the first. You know the first three steps to becoming an entrepreneur, although we might cover that. It's really a play on words. 101 ideas, thoughts, philosophies, stories, concepts, actions to be successful as an entrepreneur. So today I start uh, episode one of uh, and, and, and welcome to anybody who's joining me uh, internationally. I've got people from the United States. We've got people overseas in Asia as well. So super, uh, super excited to have you on there, uh, on here with me today. Now, here's the deal. Are there more than 101 things that you need to do to be successful as an entrepreneur? I'm sure that there are. Are there less that you have to do today? I'm sure there are. Uh, but I couldn't call a series Seven Concepts for Entrepreneurship. This thing would be over too fast. And frankly, there is, uh, I think as an entrepreneur, a never ending list of improvement, uh, of, of, of changing and molding our thoughts of things to do. So what it, 101 is literal. We are going to do 101 episodes uh, and, and bless your business as an entrepreneur. But it's also, philosophical in that being an entrepreneur is not a short race. Uh, we're not in it for just a, a prize that probably has a terminal ending um, or a terminus. It's, it's something that never ends. So 101 really is representative of the vast blue sky in front of us. Um, but let's start. So we all talk about stories. I'm going to bring you entrepreneurial stories. I'm gonna pull ideas from books, from learnings that I'm doing. I'm, I'm involved right now, how many books am I reading? Uh, I'm probably in the middle of about five or six books right now. Uh, I'm actively uh, actively reading, I think, three, three or four entrepreneurial business books. And I'm gonna share some of those concepts with you. But what I would love to know is this, what do you want to know? This is gonna be Q&A as well. Your questions, your desires, your, uh, maybe an area where you're struggling right now. Uh, those are concepts that we're gonna talk about in Entrepreneur 101. And, uh, and I'll do some research. I'll, I'll weigh in on this. I'll ask the entrepreneurs that I, uh, that I travel around the world and have the privilege of working with, um, of presenting with, of, uh, of counseling with, of strategizing and brainstorming, of learning from, 
uh, as well. So drop some questions in. What do you want to know about entrepreneurship? What what breakthrough do you need to have? I work. I uh, I was on uh, the line last night with uh, with a seven figure business uh, entrepreneur, right? A, a woman who's created a million dollar business, and talking with her, <clears throat> we're friends. Um, and you might call it mentoring, but sometimes we just call it friendship, right? And and really, over that 10, 15 minute conversation, uh, helping her to take her business to the next level, to reinvent herself. Boy, that's something, that's a concept. That'll be in 101, guys, is reinventing. Um, but we, we were able to, to help her not find answers, but rediscover the answers that were already uh, within her and uh, and she was kind enough to send me a, a note afterwards so uh, that's what we'll do here as well drop some lines drop some comments in what do you want to learn about what do you need to learn about what scares you about entrepreneurship uh, what are you crushing right now we can even uh, we'll, we'll focus on maybe some <coughs> pardon me some of your strengths I'll bring on uh, guest speakers during Entrepreneur 101, but I'm pumped, guys. I'm super, super pumped. I would love to know what excites you about your entrepreneurship. Why did you become an entrepreneur? What is it that you're trying to accomplish and where are you going, okay? So, Entrepreneur 101 starts now. Concept number one, hope. Entrepreneurship is about hope. hope Hope for, hope for the entrepreneur individually. Whatever you created, uh, hey Dondi, good to have you on. Uh, appreciate you, look up to you. Entrepreneurship, uh, you know, a lot of people I think mistake business. They mistake entrepreneurs uh, as, uh, you know, crazy people. Well, that we are, we're a little crazy. Uh, maybe you have to be a lot crazy. But that it's all about money and, and it certainly is not. Uh, some motivation is, is absolutely financial. Uh, it, it would be crazy to think that we're gonna do all of this for nothing, right? But some of us end up falling so much in love with this industry that that the money becomes, uh, I don't wanna say less important, but maybe less important than it used to be. But I think the number one currency of entrepreneurship is hope. When I became an entrepreneur, uh, in 2000, 19 years ago. Prior to that, I had been in corporate America. I'd spent 10 years there. I'd been very happy there. I'd been very happy to take my sleeping bag, take it to the office, throw it in my cubicle, work late nights, get up in the morning just to sacrifice it for my job, my company, because that's what I needed to do to put money, to put food on the table. But something shifted in me when, when entrepreneurship kind of blossomed in front of me. I had grown up around entrepreneurs, but never really, <clears throat> never really seen myself as an entrepreneur, quite frankly. Uh, I was scared. Uh, I was unsure of myself, absolutely scared of failing. Uh, and, and that did not snap, uh, didn't change overnight, guys. It was a process, entrepreneurship is a process. That'll be one of the 101 ideas that we discuss over the next months and frankly probably take me a year or two years to bring this entrepreneurship 101 101 ideas stories concepts philosophies uh to you uh, but it was a process at some point something changed in me and what changed is desire something in me started to desire more to hope for more than i had ever hoped for before hoping more, but also realizing that if I didn't do it, there was maybe more to lose, okay? Hope, hope is the currency of entrepreneurship. I love the line in the Star Wars uh, film, Rogue One. Uh, at the beginning of the line, there's this, uh, there's this dialogue between some of the actors and they talk about, uh, well, hope is, what, hope is what rebellions are made of, right? We may not have more firepower, we may not have more resources, we may not have more men, uh, we may not have more weapons uh, to follow the, the Star Wars uh, storyline. Thank you, Rita, yes, hashtag that. By the way, use that, guys, use that. Hope is the currency of entrepreneurship. Um, I'm sure I have to credit some there, somebody with their, 
somebody with that idea there. But, uh, but those words are something that we've created today. I've never heard anybody necessarily say it that way. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. But he says, he says uh, to one of, the other, uh, one, one of the other protagonists, hope is what rebellions are built on. Hope is what entrepreneurship is built on. Hope is the currency of entrepreneurship. When I, when I, when I caught the seed, the inkling of light and intelligence that came to me that I could have a better life as an entrepreneur, that hope started to, uh, started to be planted, started to take root in me. And I truly believe that one of the greatest reasons that you should uh, endeavor to be an entrepreneur, and I'm an at-home entrepreneur, uh, at home meaning I don't, I don't run big box stores. Uh, I don't have bricks and mortar anymore. I've left that world of what we might call traditional business. I'm an online entrepreneur. I'm a networking entrepreneur. Uh, I'm, I'm a world traveling entrepreneur. I, uh, I build businesses online on, uh, on my phone. That's how I've chosen to do it these days. But these, these ideas will, will be a benefit to individuals in real estate, to my friends who are crushing it in real estate. I look up to you, love what you're doing. Um, maybe you're a small business owner, a small box store. Maybe you're trying to upgrade. Maybe you're an inventing type of an entrepreneur. Maybe you're technology. Uh, but these concepts, I think, are universal. Hope is the currency of entrepreneurship. And as an entrepreneur, we are leaders in one thing. And if, if one thing, one thing only, that would be hope. Hope is idea number one, concept number one. And this is episode number one, Entrepreneurs 101. Thanks, let's start this journey and start displaying, start living, start sharing, start believing, start dealing in the currency of hope. God bless, excited to uh, have engagement. Please engage on this, share this if you find value here and go teach this.